Tech. That was Jimmy Nevis featuring Questa with a balloon. If you don't know me, but I song for Jimmy, all that easy vibes, easy. It can be Ah, lovey days. But guys, listen to this. Back in 1992, a new game or new sport was added to the Olympic Games. Although it dates back to the 1800s, I'm talking about badminton. Now, in the 89 building, to tell us more about that unique sport, we have Jade, we have James, and at the back playing, we have Jesse and as well as Sean. Thank you for joining us at Hit Tech. Thanks, Chanel. Thanks so much for having us here today. Lovely. Now, before we get into the sport and the technicalities um, of the sport, please tell me, James, start with you. Where did it all start for you and also what fascinates you about this? Well, I was uh, at school in high school. I've been playing for eight years now. I started at the age of 14. Okay. And uh, my mom said to me, listen, let's go to the badminton hall and have a hit. So then I was like, okay, Ma, this, uh, I'm playing rugby at school and now going to badminton. Mm -hmm. I was like, hmm, that wasn't Wait, fair. you said you played rugby? Yes, I did play Can rugby. I assume that you actually left rugby to become a full-time badminton correct. player? That is correct. Yeah? yeah. Okay, okay. So, yeah, <laughs> fell in love with it. Lovely. Yeah. And you, Jay, where did it all start for you? I started playing badminton about 15 to 16 years ago. I got introduced by my brother. Um, fell in love with it, made heaps of friends, traveled the world, even met my husband in Malaysia. So it's gone, oops, sorry. Wow. It's gone. <laughs> really enjoy it and it's really addictive. So can you say badminton is almost like a Cupid? Yeah, you could, for many people. <laughs> for many <Yeah>. people. <laughs> my girlfriend as well. So oh, yeah. oh, my word, okay. <laughs> Sean and Jesse, please join me. I really want to know from you guys where it started for you. So Jason, let's start with you. When did you start playing this sport and what fascinates what do you love about the sport so much? I love that I love it that you get to um, meet new people and get new friends and go on tours. Can I just tell you guys this little girl is actually a Western province badminton player. So Jamie Mosi Samad Hani, I don't think I'll want to take you on in the court anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> and Sean, please tell me why do you love the sport so much and also when did you start playing? Since when I was like six, I love the, the memories and the sport and the tours, everything together. Well, speaking of tours, you guys actually represent South Africa, so big ups, big ups. Yeah, you you guys can actually go back and play. Thank you so much. And then let's, see, let's continue with this, with this, okay? So, would you say, Jade, this sport, is it big in South Africa? Is there interest around this sport? Are there a lot of people playing it? In South Africa, badminton is growing at a very fast pace. Uh -huh. um, we're getting a lot more coverage, media is getting involved, which helps a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, we're getting more involved in the communities, development, schools, and the guys that are playing, we're putting lots of time and effort into it. So it's good to see it growing. But if you go anywhere in Africa, internationally, it's huge. It's really, really big sports. And that's what we tr we're striving to get to, just get more and more involved and get more people on board to mm -hmm. play and get competitive with it. Lovely. Now, James. Mm. What are the rules when it comes to badminton? Because all I can see is I've always, when I was little, I always thought, what on earth? It looks like a little, it looks like a pigeon or a little bird. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get into the gear, please tell me, um, please tell me what are the rules when it comes to badminton? Okay, well badminton, uh, we've got four racket sports. You've got tennis, table tennis, squash, and then badminton. Um, it's, it's very similar in terms of scoring. Mm -hmm. uh, you play best of three sets. You play uh, to 21 points. Uh, if you are both on 20 all, you will do setting, which okay. is if you play to first to two points, will win. Um, best of three sets. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Singles, uh, the courts look very much similar to tennis. So in singles, your trams are out like normal, same as tennis. And um, the two sports that actually complement each other the most is squash and badminton, and then table tennis and tennis. Okay. Why I say that you have more of a uh, stroke in tennis, which is also with table tennis, because you have to get top spin on the ball. Mm -hmm. Whereas squash and badminton, it's a lot more of an explosive sport, and you use a lot more of your wrist to get out of small corners and stuff. So okay. That's 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 the game. Yeah. You'll be showing me one or two strokes in just a bit, right? I will do that. Yes. <laughs> now let's move over to you. Please take me through the equipment you guys have in order for you to actually play badminton. Okay, well, if you want to get started with badminton, it's really not that expensive, mm -hmm. and there's lots of ways um, in getting involved, but I'll explain that later. First of all, you need a racket. So the rackets are kind of foreign looking if you've never seen badminton before. It's got a smaller head compared uh -huh. to tennis, and a really long shaft, and it's extremely light. Why does it have a smaller head, though? Um, I'm not actually quite sure why it's got a smaller head. Maybe add a bit more of a competitive side to it. More of a whip. More of a whip. Okay. And you'll, sometimes with different rackets, you've got different, um, sections where the weight's carried. So some rackets, some people prefer to have a heavier head mm -hmm. than a handle. Some people like a more evenly weighted distribute like a 
Yeah, the weights, yeah, the weights mm -hmm. evenly distributed or a heavier handle than the head. So it depends on your way of playing. Uh -huh. um, brackets can range anything from 200 Rand to 1,000, 2,000 Rand. So depending on your level of play, what you want to go for. Mm -hmm. And then some clothes to play in, doesn't have to be anything fancy. Girls sometimes compete in skirts uh, or sports or shorts. Uh -huh. And then shoes, our shoes are quite important. They're quite up there, as you can see. Yeah. Um, not really pretty, but <laughs> <laughs> kind of look like space shoes. And they are special, special soles. They're non-marking soles, so it doesn't mark the courts. Okay. And they're really, really quite sticky on courts if the courts are clean. And also pro provide you with a lot of support because you're twisting and turning you know, yeah. really quick and your reflex time has to be super quick, so you've got to be able to support the foot within, within the shoe. Okay, yeah. but like they say, the proof is in the pudding, Jade. Mm. Tell me so about you it. guys will have to... <laughs> You guys will have to show me a thing or two when it comes to badminton. So where do I start? What do I have to do? Is there a special way I have to stand? You can show it, Damon. Okay. okay. Well, not really. You can take the racket. Okay. Okay. You are going to do an upwards mo uh, motion to get the shuttle so into we'll the move. air. So, so we'll move. move. That's okay. it. Like tennis. You can okay. get it up. And then basically Jade will... Jade can stand there. Yeah. Okay. I might stand... Uh, guys, just back up. I'm going to get shot in the face. Wow. Uh, Okay, and Is there anywhere um, I need to hit it? Can I just let it drop and hit it? Let it drop. The cork will face the racket and you will then hit the cork okay, up cool. into the air. Ready you, ready. Okay. Here we go. There Here we go. go. Woo, you got... Nice. Oh, oh, okay, let's try it again. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Hey, yo. There we go. Hey! Awesome. Oh! Oh! <laughs> nice. Okay, wait. One more, one more! It's so addictive! It's addictive okay, right? do it again. Hey, yo. Okay, here you go. <laughs> While I do this, quick ad break. When we come back, we actually get to meet our scientist, Philip. Come on, come on, come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it.